When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to create insan, even angels were confused about these two. If you look at Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2 of the Quran, verse 30, Allah tells us of the time when he wanted to create the first prototype of the human being, which was Nabi Adam alayhi salam. Before he did that, he said to the angels, وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً And remember when your Lord said to the angels, I have decided that I shall create a representative of mine on this earth. What was the response of the angels? Oh Allah, are you going to create a species that will create mischief on the earth and spill blood? Why did Allah bother? Allah says to them, I know something that you don't know. What is it Allah knows the angel does not know? I know that they have fitra in them. You the angels, when you look at the world, you are seeing seven billion caterpillars. I am seeing the one caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. That one butterfly is so important to me, it is worth creating seven mad insane caterpillars to get that one butterfly. Allah knows the capacity, the potential of this human being. فَإِذَا نَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِ O angels, when I blow into this creature that you think is just mad and full of lust and anger and desire, full of tabi'ah only, when I blow into him of my spirit, then you fall into prostration before him. That spirit that I blow into him will have my attributes. I am Rahman, his fitra will always call him towards mercy. I am Al-Jawad, his fitra will always call him towards generosity. Look at your own nature. You will find that all those names that are Asma'ul Husna for Allah, the beautiful names of Allah, those are the qualities that you like within yourself. And their opposite is what you dislike because it is wired in you. Even if you don't like studying, even if you do not want to go to school, even if you want to just remain the way you are, illiterate, if I call you ignorant, you do not like it. And if I call you intelligent and wise and knowledgeable, you are happy even though if you can't read and write. Because it is your nature to love Al-Alimu. If I call you strong, you feel good because it is in your nature to love Al-Qadiru. If I call you weak, you dislike it because it opposes Al-Qadiru. So within you is that potential, within you is the ability to unleash attributes. If you can only control your tabi'a with your fitra, you become a mirror through which divine attributes shine on the rest of the universe. That is why Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Atazamu annaka jirmun sagheer wa fi kan tawa al-alamu al-akbar. Do you think you are some small, insignificant life germ in this universe when within you is contained the entire universe? You are a microcosm of the macrocosm. The whole universe is contained within you. You are so weak compared to other creatures. Look at the animals around you. They are bigger, they are stronger, they are faster. They can devour you in seconds. But look at your ability to understand. You can explore the outer limits of the space. You can go to the bottoms of the ocean. You can do amazing surgeries. You can rescue these other massive creatures. They have remained the same for centuries. Look at how you have changed your potential.